Good morning, good morning, good morning. The sermon said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Consecrate us now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let our souls look up with a steadfast hope, and our will be lost in thine. We give honor to the name of Jesus this morning, who is our Redeemer and our Savior. Amen. To the love of my life, the icing on my cake, and uh, the sweetie in my pie. To my wife this morning, First Lady Worley. Amen. To all the preachers, to our preacher of the hour, to our preacher for this morning, uh, Reverend Shimon Mitchell. Amen. To all the other ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ, to the officers, to the members, to all of our social media family, to all that have joined us this morning. I don't know about you, but I come to bless the name of Jesus. Come on and give God a praise in this house. Amen. Is anybody excited about Jesus this morning? Amen. If you're excited about Jesus, let me hear you scream on this morning. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For we have come into this house together in his name and to worship him. I feel about like the hymn writer this morning. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. Amen. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Amen. And I'm glad that he touched it this morning with the finger of his divine love and allowed us to get up and to come together one more time that we might give our God and our Savior praise in this sanctuary. Amen. Will y'all stand on your feet this morning? And as you stand, come on and put your hand together. Come on and glorify God. Amen. Amen. Come on and bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on and love on the Lord. Amen. Somebody don't. Let's have a good time in the Lord. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. Come on, choir. Hymn number 81. Jesus is the light of the world.
the glory. Amen. Amen. Y'all feel all right this morning? Amen. Amen. I, I, I like a noisy crowd. Amen. I, I like a noisy crowd because when I was in the world, amen, I hung out with a noisy crowd. Reverend Donna, when we was in the club, amen, it was noisy. Amen. Amen. We didn't mind letting everybody know we was in the club. Amen. Can we just act like we are in the house of the Lord this morning? Amen. And don't mind anybody knowing, amen, that we're in God's house. Amen. Come on and give him glory. Hallelujah. 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 As we continue to worship this morning, we go ask if Sister Zia McDonald will come and uh, share with us the word of God. Amen. And follow the scripture. We will have prayer by Sister Nala Worley. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. The scripture we come from Psalms 150, verses 1 through 6. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him with praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the lute and the harp. Praise him with the treble and dance. Praise him with string instruments and flute. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Mm -hmm. Let everything that has a breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. Please bow your head for a word of prayer. Father, it's me. Once again. So graciously, so humbly, laying myself at your throne of grace. God, thanking you for another day's journey, God. Realizing that if it had not been for you, who was on my side, where would I be, God? Thank you for life, health, and strength, God. Thank you for your new grace and your new mercies on today, God. Somebody came here burdened and heavy laden, God. Somebody came here in need of healing, God. Ask you to meet them right where they are, God. Remind them on today, God, that you are a burden bearer, God. You are a heavy load sharer, God. God, I just want to say thank you. God, I just want to say thank you, God. God, I just want to say thank you. You are so good, God. You've been better to me than I can be to myself, God. So I just want to say thank you, God. God, I just want to say thank you, God. You are the mender of broken hearts, God. You are the great comforter, God. When mama and daddy don't hear my cry, God, you will be right there, God, to wipe every tear away from my eyes, God. You collect every tear in your bottle, God. So I just want to say thank you, God. Nobody can hold me like you can. Nobody can rock me like you can, God. I just want to say thank you. God, I just want to say thank you, God. God, I just want to say thank you. You are God and God alone, God. You don't need no special help, God. You don't need no aid, God, for you can do the impossible, God. Somebody came here weary, God, in well-doing, God. But remind them on today that you are God and God alone. And you will do, God, just what you said that you would, God. For men do not live by bread alone. But, I, but by every word that proceeds out of your mouth. So, God, I just want to say thank you. God, I just want to say thank you, God. Whoever is in need of healing here, God, meet them right where they are, God. Touch their bodies and their mind, God, for you are a mind regulator. You are a heart fixer, God. Remind them on today that what machines and, and medicines can't do, God, only you can do it, God. You are still Alpha and Omega, God. You are still the beginning, and you are still the end, God. I just want to say thank you, Father. We ask all these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen.
Man, our young people, amen, we thank God for Sister Zia who came and read that scripture, amen, with excitement. Amen, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Amen, amen. And since we're all sitting up in here and our eyes open, amen, we're inhaling and exhaling, amen, amen. We ought to give God some praise, amen. Amen, amen, amen. We thank Nala for that wonderful prayer as we continue to worship our Christ on this morning. Amen. We're going to ask this choir to give us a selection. Amen. And y'all come on and join in and let's worship him this morning. Amen. Amen. Same choir. Help me to hold on.
He'll do it, won't he? Amen. He'll help us hold out when our way get weary. He'll help us hold out. Amen. When life get frustration, he'll help us hold out. Amen. When our way get dark, God will help us. Amen. 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 Thank you, choir. Amen. As we continue to worship this morning, our announcements are coming down by way of Sister Denise Williams. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Honor to God, Pastor Worley, all ministers, all members and friends. These are our announcements. Youth Inspiration Day will be held at Good Hope Baptist Church, April the 22nd from 9 to 12 p.m. From 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Say no. Please bring your youth and let them show their talent. Dance, song, poem, etc. Let them shine. Camper and wipe drive, drop off location, First New Light Missionary Baptist Church. You are welcome to donate campers and wipes to First New Light Missionary Baptist Church from now until March 31st. The items collected will be given to our local hospitals and donated to the mothers in need. These are our announcements. Senior choir rehearsal will be Thursday at 7 p.m. Church calendar meeting will be April the 1st at 9 a.m. All auxiliary leaders and officers are actively present. Leadership meeting will be held April the 6th at 6.30 p.m. Any youth that would like to go to the Easter Spring Fling at Jones Lake on April the 8th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., please see Minister Shimona Mitchell or Sister Denise Pastor and First Lady Worley's 22nd pastoral anniversary is April the 15th through 16th. All members are asked to give a love offering of $50. Pastor and First Lady Worley's 22nd pastoral anniversary banquet will be April the 15th at 5 p.m. Prayer and Bible study will be Wednesday at 7 p.m. Please remember the speaking, studying, your prayers and visits. Thank you, um, announcements from First Lady. Thank you to all the women of First New Light who supported First Lady Glenda Worley at Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church Women's Conference. Your presence was greatly appreciated. Thank you. This concludes our announcements. Our youth inspiration. Uh, we want our youth to get involved and, um, you know, show your talents and your gifts that God has given you and uh, that you might be a blessing to other youth. So during the youth inspiration, I know we have one participant. Amen. And we asking that you would uh, just go and see what's going on. Amen. Um, as you go and see what's going on, you might be inspired. Amen. To, to you know, get involved. Amen. Uh, our Pampers and Wipes Drive, uh, Sister Magdalene had placed a box. I suppose we are having a box out front. And I want to encourage you. I, I know they said that it's 
At the end of the drive, it's March 31st. That's next week. That next week. We need a lot of pampers and wipes by next week. By next week, we already have some. Amen. Amen. But we're asking all of you that will, amen, to uh, get involved in this drive, uh, that we might be a blessing to the hospitals and uh, those that are in need of these items. Uh, it's all about doing mission work. Amen. And that's what we are part of. Amen. So, um, you know, we ask that you just bring us, load this box up. Amen. Amen. That it'll make a difference in the lives of those people that are in need. Uh want to, again, uh, reiterate uh, our thanks uh, to all the ladies that went to support First Lady World on yesterday. Amen. And I, I want to also thank the church and the choir, the musicians, uh, for your accompanying us on last evening. Amen. Amen. Over at uh, All Nation Church of Faith. Uh, good turnout. So we thank God for you. We continue to solicit your prayers uh, that we will hear the voice of the Lord and do what God had called us to do. Amen. I uh, want to again thank Sister Carter. Amen. For, for uh, our training session. Uh, she went to the training session because we had several things going on yesterday. Amen. We have a training session at First Baptist uh, for the uh, labor of love. And we had First Lady over at St. Paul's. And then we was over at St. Paul's yesterday evening. Uh, so we kind of, you know, uh, appreciative uh, that you went and, and set in on that training uh, for us. So we are grateful to God for all that he is doing. Uh, I want to say also and encourage all of you uh, that you get engaged, get involved in what's going on in, to, in your church. Um, God had given all of you talents. And we all have talents that we can use for the glory of God. And, and you don't have to be like nobody else. Just be you. Amen. When you give God the best of your service, he's the one that's going to understand and say, well done at the end of it. Amen. Amen. But get involved. Uh, there's so much work to be done, so much ministry to be done. There's people that are home uh, that can't get to church. Amen. You can write a card. That's getting involved in ministry. Amen. Send it to them. Let them know we're thinking about you. Amen. There's so much to be done that we have young people that we know that are in prison. You can write a card. You can write a letter. Get involved. Amen. Amen. Let them know the first new light is thinking about you. Amen. Amen. So we need everybody working so that the ministry will go forth. Amen. Because y'all do know that this ministry is not about worldly. Amen. Amen. But this, work, this ministry is about Jesus Christ. Amen. And if we get involved in doing ministry, we can be a blessing to a lot of people. Amen. Amen. That the name of Christ might be glorified. Amen. Amen. And, and, and again, I don't know if Harlan is able to see us, uh, is he able to pick us up in Maryland or not. I hope he is, uh, because I want to encourage that young man. Yeah. Amen. That, 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 that's, that's a young Christian that came to First New Light and got saved, and, and he left here uh, had to go back because he had to go back. He, he wanted to stay here, but he had to go back. Amen. But he had been remembering his church ever since he left. Amen. Amen. And up there in Maryland, he's telling others about the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. This, this is a 16, 16 year old. Amen. That found Jesus, and he's excited about what he found. Amen. 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 We ought to be excited just as he is about Jesus. Amen. That we continue to share the good news about Jesus Christ. Uh, again, I'm, I'm so grateful and thankful for all that you're doing. Uh, thank you for our youth uh, leaders. Uh, they continue to plan for our 
children and our youth to get them involved. Uh, Deacon, Sister Mitchell, Reverend Dunn, thank you all uh, for getting involved with our youth so that we can uh, get them out and get them to doing more. Amen. Um, we had planned a uh, East Egg Hunt celebration here at the church, uh, uh, but of course, uh, Minister Mitchell had to work on that day, uh, so uh, they're going to take the youth to the one at Jones Lake. Uh, they're going to take them to Jones Lake and let them get involved in that uh, celebration down there. Uh, so if you will bring your youth, uh, let them uh, know that they're interested in going. Amen. So they may go in fellowship. Huh? How we grow together? We grow together by fellowship. Amen. Amen. The more we see one another, the more we appreciate one another. Amen. Amen. God bless you this morning and may heaven smile upon you. May God keep you in his care. Continue to pray for our sick and our shut in uh, that are not able to get here. Amen. Uh, but let us reach out to them and let them know that they were on our minds and in our hearts. Amen. Amen. Angela, it's good to see you again this morning. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Uh, we thank you all for coming. Amen. And being a part of our worship. Amen. We're going to ask the choir to get ready now. Amen. Uh, to give us a selection. And, 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 the, and the young people in the back, I don't know you, but it's good to see you. Amen. Thank you for coming to worship with us. Amen. Amen. The choir is going to give us a selection. And after the selection, amen, we're going to hear from heaven. Is that all right? All right. Amen. One more thing. The McAllister family, amen, uh, the uh, family of Sister Bert McAllister uh, sent us a, a card of thanks. Uh, they want you to know that they appreciate Amen. Your prayers uh, and all that you've done for them in the hour of bereavement. Amen. Now, y'all ready for a word? That was poor, y'all. That, 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 that was mighty poor. I didn't ask y'all, was y'all ready for a steak? Uh, ready for ice cream? I know that. But are we ready for a word? Yeah. That's it. Amen. 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 This morning we are, are so grateful that we have a preacher. Amen. That, that's going to come and share with us this morning. Uh, the preacher that's coming this morning is one that uh, labors with us. The one that is among us. The Bible said, know those that labor among you. Amen. She is gifted. Amen. She loved preaching the word. Amen. She's excited about Jesus. Amen. She worked with our youth. She's married to Deacon Donna Mitchell. Amen. Amen. Uh, and, uh, and, and we're excited to hear what the Lord has given her for the church this morning. And we ask that you receive, amen, with a heart of thanks, amen, the Reverend Shimona Mitchell, by just pointing your hand this way and say, thank God, thank God. for Reverend Shimona Mitchell. Sing choir. Preach, Reverend Mitchell. Preach. Bless you. Y'all, come on. All right, y'all. Same. He's good. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. But he's good. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all. 
Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. Yeah. Not some of the time. All right. Not most of the time. All time. But all time. Yeah. Yeah. Why would I bless the Lord at all time? Because he's good. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the choir. Man, thank God for God who's the head of my life. Thank God for my pastor. The great Obi Worley Senior. Amen. Thank God for First Lady Worley. Amen. Thank God for you, you and you, because everybody is somebody. Amen. Amen. Thank God for my spouse, Amen. my best supporter, All right. and All right. my worst critic. Right. <laughs> Thank God for my children. Amen. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Thank God for my spiritual children on this morning. Amen. Amen. Wave your hands. That's my musician back there. That was my, my other musician. Amen. That's Veronica Amen. back there. Amen. Amen. And my and my other child, Sister Amy. They said they was coming. Thank God that they came on through here. Praise Amen. Amen. There is a word from the Lord on this morning. Just asking y'all to pray with me for just a minute. Father, it's in your name that we come before you, as humble as we know how. Yes. Thank you, God, for just being who you are in our yes, life, God. God. Yes, God. Ask you, God, to just send a rain, a word, God, Amen. a Amen. word that brings healing, God, a word that brings deliverance, God, a word that brings about a change in yes, somebody's God. life, God. God. Ask you to wrap me up in thee, God, and God, have your way in me, through yes, me, and for me, God. Oh, God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight. Father, you are my Lord and my strength, and God, and my Redeemer. I bind up everything, God, that's not like you, God, in the name of Jesus that come to try to hinder this message for somebody. But, God, we thank you, God, for all that you are doing, and we thank you for all that you're yet still going to do. And we count it done and believe and trust it is so in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I will be coming from Mark, the fifth chapter this morning. A very familiar verse. And I will be starting at the 21st verse. Mark 5. <clears throat> 21, a very familiar verse. Through the 34th verse. And when Jesus was passed over again by ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him and was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus, by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet. And besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. And when Jesus went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him, and a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. Yeah. When she had heard of Jesus came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that virtue, 
had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Amen. If I would go to the 27th verse. When she heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched the hem of his garment. If I were used for a topic on this morning, you're next in line for a miracle. All right. Amen. All right. You're next in line for a miracle. Right. You're next in line right. for a miracle. Yeah. What is a miracle? A miracle is a supernatural occurrence happening event that reveals or confirms a specific divine message. Miracles are extraordinary occurrences that can only be attributed to the supernatural work of God and demonstrate his involvement in human history. Miracles provide evidence of God's presence and power in the word and demonstrate his authority on behalf of his servants. Miracles only work with people who have faith. Some people don't even believe that miracles even exist. But how many of you know that God can do what he wants, when he wants? Uh Matthew 19 and 26 say, with God, all things are possible. Hebrews 11 and 1 say, faith is the substance or assurance of things we hope for, but have not yet received. I don't know what miracle you're looking on for today, but I know we serve a God of miracles. And what the enemy meant for your bad, God is going to turn it around for your good. God has a miracle with your name on it. Believe it and receive it because it's yours for the asking. You're next in line for a miracle. In this passage of scripture, Jesus is getting out of the ship and then he gathered around him and when he stepped off the ship here go Jairus a respected layman responsible for synagogue oversight and activities was desperate for his little daughter uh-huh. and you know how we are about our children he said master my little girl is sick home at the point of death uh-huh. I need you to come home with me and lay hands on her that she, she may be healed of whatever that she's going through. Now, Jesus went with him. Now, remember, wherever Jesus was, there was always a crowd. A crowd meaning people were all around him. I can imagine people were all in the front and the back and on both sides. And here comes this woman with the issue of blood that had been hemorrhaging for day after day month after month, and year after year, Uh 12 long years. Uh And she had spent all of her money and all of the things trying to get healed of her infirmity. Uh And instead of getting better, she got worse. Uh Yes, God gives all the medical professions knowledge, but when the doctor has done all that they can do, and have given you a report, whose report are you going to believe? Verse 27 says, she heard of Jesus, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the number one specialist of all specialists, the number one surgeon of all surgeons, the great I am, the man with the master plan. This woman's condition made her physically and religiously unclean. Uh She shouldn't have even been in the crowd. But when you need a miracle from God, Uh desperate folks do desperate things. Uh She pressed her way through the crowd.
crowd. Now remember, Jer Jesus was on his way to see Jerry's daughter. But this woman made up in her mind, I got to see Jesus. Weak and feeble. I can imagine now, I'm just paraphrasing. She was pressing her way through the crowd. And now she was pressing her way through the crowd. Now remember, she had been going through this year after year. I can imagine she may have pressed her way through the crowd and may have fallen down. But great God Almighty, she got back up. I can imagine she was pressing her way and people was on every side. And I can imagine she was moving this way and that way and this way and that. But she still was pressing her way through the crowd. Because she heard about a man called Jesus. Has anybody heard about this man called Jesus? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. She said, if I can just get from behind, if I can just continue to just press my way through the crowd. I can imagine there were so many people all around. I got to tell you, because let me tell you, sometimes you got to press your way through the crowd. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what you're going through, but you got to continue to press on through the crowd. And, if that, and when she came on and she pressed on through the crowd, she came from behind. And although she came from behind, she was next in line for her miracle. Clap your hands and give God some praise. And when she got close enough, I can imagine she reached out a feeble, weak hand. And let me tell you, she was healed of that plague. But fast forward, I want to let you know that remember that he was on his way to see Jarius' daughter. Uh -huh. Now she was at the point of death, but now she had died. She had already died because the woman with the issue of blood had took up some of Jesus' time. Uh -huh. But I'm so glad that God has no time frame. He can heal someone and deliver someone right here and over there at Mount Carmel at the same time. He can set somebody free in Missouri and set somebody free in North Carolina too. He can answer your prayer and my prayer at the same time. He can bless me financially and you too at the same time. Cause delayed does not mean denied. He can deliver my loved one and your because we serve that kind of God. You can call on him when you want him. And he's always on time. Can I get a witness up in here today? And even though Jesus made a pit stop and healed the woman with the issue of blood, Jerry's daughter got just what she needed also. She was healed of her infirmity also. I just encourage you just for a little while you're next in line for America you are the head and not the tail you are above and not beneath you can be the lender and not the borrower you're next in line for America John first John 4 4 say great is he that is in you than he that is in the world no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. It may form, but it will not and shall not prosper. Your next in line for a miracle. Psalms 118 and 17 say, I will not die, but I will live and proclaim the Lord, what the Lord has done in other words. moments. You will not die in this. You are a survivor. God, I give you praise. You can serve, notice, to whatever illness you have. 
Tell that cancer to loose you and let you go. Tell that pain to loose you and let you go. Tell sugar diabetes to loose you and let you go. Tell high blood pressure to loose you and let you go. Tell that stroke demon to loose you and let you go. Tell that heart attack demon to loose you and let you go. Whatever sickness that you're enduring, tell it to loose you and let you go. Because Isaiah 53 and 5 say, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of his peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor you're next in line. You're next in line. You're next in line. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and give God some praise. Woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're next in line. You may not have got that job you wanted. Might not be driving the fanciest car. May not even live in a two-story mansion. But don't give up, keep praying and have faith. Cause God is up to something bigger, better, and greater for you. Let me tell you, but this miracle is not based on your denomination. This miracle is not based on your pastor. This miracle is not based on the color of your skin. This miracle is not based on your size, age, or gender. This miracle is not based on your background education. Woo, God, help me up in here. This miracle is not based on where you were born at. This miracle is not based on your past. Because guess what? Your past is just that, your past. Woo, but I'm glad that God is not like man. Romans 2 and 11 say, for there is no respect the person with God. drugs but don't count them out hell hounds on every side continue to have faith and stand in the gap for them because they're next in line for a miracle Job 14 and B says all the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change comes Oh, 
woman. He's a lawyer in the courtroom. He's a doctor in the sick room. He's bread when you're hungry. God, I thank you and give you praise. He's water when you're thirsty. Peace in the midst of a storm. He is my joy and sorrow, hope for tomorrow. God will be your rock in a weary land. And anything that 
you're going through. Oh, God, hear you praise. Hallelujah. Mm. Get it in your mind. And if you believe without a shadow of a doubt, whatever that miracle that you need from God, I dare you to seal it with a praise. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. You're next. You're next in line. But I, I feel the feel the pressing that I need to share with somebody. The preacher preach your next in line for your miracle. And then she asked us to stand up. And she said that we all are praise our way into it. But what happens sometimes, some of us are in here and we know we need a miracle from God. But because we're still trying to be cute, we pass up what God has for us. And we won't give God a praise 
Huh? Some of us, because we afraid that somebody's going to look at us and talk about us next week. But what God has for you, it is for you. And if God said praise your way into it, you ought to be crazy enough. Hallelujah. 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 Ah! Hallelujah. You ought to want it bad enough. Amen. Amen. To praise your way into your miracle. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him. My, 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 my. My, my. Go, 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 go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Go. Go. Yes. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God. Amen. We praise God. Amen for Reverend Mitchell today and how she was uh, obedient to the will of God. Amen. That she let God have his way. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the move of God. Amen. That's in this place. And this, this morning, while the spirit is still moving, uh, we again ask that you're standing all over this building. And maybe that there's someone in here in this place that don't know Jesus. Just because everybody's shouting, that don't mean that we know him. Just because they're about to run in that don't mean we know one. If you really want a miracle in your life, then give your life to Jesus. So if you're here this morning and you do not know him as your personal Savior, I ask that you get up from where you are and make a bold move and, and come down and give your life to Jesus today. Jesus wants to save you today. He wants to work a miracle in your life. Is the one. Is the one. Maybe there's someone that's watching us by Facebook and by YouTube and by Zoom. You tune in to this service today and You've been watching us and you realize that you need Jesus in your life. If you're watching us from your bedroom, from your living room, or even from your kitchen, uh, Jesus is calling you today. He's saying, come unto me, all you that are burdened and heavy laden, I'll give you rest. So if you don't know him, in the pardon of your sins. I invite you right where you're sitting, right where you are, to give your life to Jesus. And you can do that today just by praying and asking God to forgive you of your sins and accept you in his, as his child. Will you pray with me today? Will you bow your heads and pray with me today that God will save you and accept you as his child? Pray this prayer with me. Say, dear God, I need you in my life. For I acknowledge that I am a sinner. 
and I've sinned against you. But God, today I, I heard your word preached and my heart has been pricked. And God, I ask now that you forgive me of my sins. Purge me of all unrighteousness. Blot out my transgressions and receive me as your child. Lord, I surrender my life to you. Now use me to do your will. Use me for your glory. Lord, I thank you for the blood of your son that covers me. The blood that washed me and made me white as snow. So God, I surrender my life to you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am your servant. I yield, I yield, I yield. I praise you and I give you glory for salvation right now through the blood of Jesus. And this is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer and you believe that in your heart, the Bible declared that you are saved. Because if thou wilt confess with thy mouth and believe in thine heart that God had raised Jesus from the dead, uh, you are saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of Jesus shall be saved. God bless you on today. And I want to encourage you, don't, don't sit where you are. Because you need other people around you that are serving the same God. Other people that are like-minded. We ask that you move out from where you are and find yourself a church somewhere where the Word of God has been taught, the Word of God has been preached. Amen. And people will help you to grow. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Maybe there's someone in here that desire prayer. If you're here and you desire prayer today, all is open for prayer. Why don't you come? that we may offer a prayer today. God knows, he knows your desires, he knows what you stand in need of. We were gonna believe God today as you make your way to this altar. We believe in God that as he sees your petition, that he's going to answer according to his perfect will. Just as that you believe God and stand on faith today, that even after we finish this prayer, when you're on your way back to your seat, when you go sit down, that your prayer is going to be answered. We're going to ask that you believe that today. In the name of Jesus. Let me if you come and lead us to the throne of grace. Every head bow. Father, it's in your son's name that we come before you, God. God, as humble as we know how, God. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Asking you first of all, God, if we've ever, if you have done something indeed worth thought of action, we ask you to forgive us for in all the of name our of sins, Jesus. God. God, these are your in people, the name God. Of Jesus. And you know mm. everything that they're standing in the need in of. In the name God. of Jesus. God, it may be a healing, God. Yes, Lord. God, it may be deliverance, God. Yes, God. God, somebody may be going through in their marriage, God. Yes, Lord. God, somebody may need right a now, financial in the name of blessing, Jesus. God. But whatever they need, God. In the God, name of Jesus. They're at your altar, God. Mm -hmm, they're mm -hmm. at the altar pleading, God, that yes, you meet God. them, God, yes, where God. they yes, are, God. God. Yes, God. Bless them, touch them, mm -hmm. heal them, deliver mm -hmm. them, and set them free, God. Yes, yes. Like only you can. Uh-huh, uh -huh. God, somebody may come that may just don't know you, mm -hmm. God, and they just want salvation, God. Yes, God. Realize that salvation is free, God. Uh-huh. And whom the Son set free is free, free indeed. God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have your way around this altar, Have your God. way, God. God, somebody may be crying, God. Uh-huh. They don't want to tell everybody what's going on, but you Jesus, know all about Jesus, it, God. Jesus. God, meet their request, God. Yes, Lord, right now God, in the name of Jesus. Right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Let them know, God, that you have a miracle mm -hmm. with their mm -hmm. name. Yes, God. God, yes, God. 
and it's theirs for mm-hmm. the asking God. Mm-hmm. God, maybe somebody standing in a gap for somebody, God. Yes, God. God, God, we ask you to grant every prayer request around mm-hmm. this altar, God. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, like never before, God. In the name of Jesus. God, like we know only that you can, mm-hmm. God. Touch them, God, heal them. Right now, deliver, right God, now in the name of Jesus. Free, God. Yes, God, yes, God. In the name of in Jesus. In the name Father. of Jesus. We'll forever give your name the honor, the glory, and the praise. Uh huh. And we believe, God, that we know that signs and wonders may follow. God. Yes, God. That, God, that you're going to do everything that mm-hmm. they need, God. Mm-hmm. Father, we thank you and we praise you, God. Yes, God. And we count it done, God. In Jesus' and name. God, we believe it is so. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. name. Amen, 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 and amen, amen, and amen. Come on and give God praise. Come on, come on, give God praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. I, I, I trust today that, that those that have made their way to the altar, I trust that you know that if you just believe, amen, amen. Uh, reach out and touch the hem of his garment. Amen. You notice that didn't nobody touch you today, but I was hoping that you would touch Jesus by faith. A woman believed that if I can just touch the hem of his garment, and if you came to this altar and you had your mind made up and believed in your heart, that if you can just touch Jesus by faith, Amen. That situation that you brought to the altar, it didn't go back with you. Amen. Come on and give God praise in this house. Amen. 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 We bless the Lord on today. Amen. I want to say that it's good to see Reverend Sinclair and Sister Sinclair. We we miss you guys. Amen. Miss you guys. We're glad that you're back with us today. Amen. Amen. that long, tall grandson that you got there. Amen. We're glad that he's with us today. Amen. 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 Sister Johnson. Amen. Good to see you this morning. Amen. Amen. I, I know you've been up the road. Amen. Amen. She just snuck away and then came back. Amen. Amen. But to God be the glory. Miss Rosa, good seeing you. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Let us continue to pray one for another. Amen. That God will continue to keep us uh, in this care. Amen. And I want to encourage you. Amen. Pray earnestly one for another. Amen. Because we're in some tedious times. Amen. Amen. And I don't know about you, but it's my desire that all of us make it. Amen. But it's going to be up to you. Amen. Amen. So let us pray one for another. Amen. Amen. Reverend Mitchell's coming back now to give us a closing remarks and the benediction. And after she do that, we're going to have to exit to the right, go down the corridor, and that you uh, leave your tithe and your offering. Give as God has bless you. Amen. You can't beat him giving because the more you give, the more he'll give to you. Amen. Amen. God bless you on this morning. Reverend Mitchell. Amen. Everyone standing. Amen. Just remember that if you don't remember nothing I said on today, just remember that whatever you need from God, he would do this, just that. Whatever your miracle is or whatever you need, Just give it over to him, and he will work it out for you. But you got to believe and have faith and receive. Amen. Amen. I can't worry about what's going on, whoever got what, what they got, what they got, how they got it. You got to know what you need. Amen. 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 And whatever you need, God will give it to thee because you're next in line for the miracle. Amen. Father, it's in the name of Jesus, God. We ask you to bless each and every one, God, on the sound of my voice, God. Bless the ones, God, that's even on the Facebook Live, God. God, you know what we're standing in need of, God. And God knows we need you in a time like these. God, we can't make it without you, God. And God, we ask you to just go with us and be with us. Stand by us, God. God, help us to be what you've called us to be, do and say, God. 
oh God, in these last and evil days, God. Realizing only what we do for you, God, yes. is going to last. Yes. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Bless this offering that we're about to receive, God, for the upbuilding of your church, God. And let us sing with the choir.